School districts are seeing a rapid change of technology inside their classrooms, so that includes artificial intelligence. Our Kenny Choi went inside a San Francisco classroom to see how some third graders are embracing AI. At Glen Park Elementary in San Francisco, students put on their headphones, read aloud, and get feedback in real time. So right here, what's happening is he's learning how to pronounce the word, and he's watching the person on the screen say the word, and then he'll say the word. What would take hours to provide one-on-one -on -one tutoring for her entire class, the third grade teacher can get data-driven reports about reading proficiency levels in minutes. It's an exciting new tool, um, but there's lots of pieces that help kids become better readers. Tenny says Amira is just one part of the language curriculum. Got it. It listens Let's to students, uses AI to assess their reading skills, and then offers individualized tutoring and instruction. I would describe it as, as a person that's talking to you and it's, it's telling you to read, and whenever you make um, a word wrong, it'll tell you if you made the word wrong and try to spell it out. You can read the book that you have at your seat. Her students spend about 10 to 15 minutes a day using a mirror. They also read on their own, and listen to Miss Tenney read aloud. Robbie Torney is AI Programs Director at Common Sense Media. Parents are kind of in this moment where they're asking, what should we do? Do these products work? We know we want to improve outcomes. Can these products be part of the solution? He believes what's happening now with AI education tools is similar to the early 2010s when laptops and ed tech software became commonplace inside classrooms. It was a little bit of a wild west for a while, and it feels a little bit kind of like the moment that we're in right now with AI. Common Sense Media has issued strong warnings against certain social companion apps and chatbots for teens. Amira doesn't fit into that category, but it is part of a growing number of edtech AI tools being used in schools. A lot of these products are really unproven. They don't have the evidence behind them that shows that they really work. And I think that, frankly, is just one of the um, concerns or questions that uh, sits behind a lot of these products. As studies on these new tools are conducted, Ms. Tenney believes Amira is making a difference. I saw that the kids really were able to build their confidence. That's why her class is all in.